In this lesson, I will show you a quick method of saving your drawings to PDF and this is by utilizing the marquee tool. So what I want us to do is uh, save this plan that we already have here to a PDF document so that we can be able to open it using the PDF reader. So this is the plan. I will uh, first put a frame. So what, what I will do is I will uh, use this line tool click on it and have this geometry method as a rectangular and then we will have a, a frame for this like that then I will use the text tool here and type at this corner so double click and type floor plan then click to select this under settings dialog we have this which is a, a font size change that to 6 and click OK then position this at that point. So if you look at it, we have the plan and we have this text here to show that this is our floor plan. Under selection tools, we have arrow and we have the marquee tool. So click on the marquee tool to select it. Then we'll have a single floor as this as the selection method here. Then when that is done, we'll use the marquee tool to select so just zoom to this corner click on that as our first point that we have picked then i will zoom and move to this further corner here and click on this making sure that the lines that are making our um, frame are included in that selection so click pick that point and then this is how it look yeah so with that with that we go to file then under file we have this option save as click on that and this is going to open this uh, dialog this is going to allow us to choose the location on uh, the local disk of our computer where we want to save this project and this is where i want to save it so you can click on this drop down arrow and you will be able to select whether you want to save it in the desktop or any other location in your computer when that is selected here under file name just click on it and write uh, udemy floor plan udemy then floor plan under save as type make sure we have selected pdf file then check this button open file after save then we have settings under page options click on page options here we are able to select the size of our page our page so if you click on this drop down you will get all these sizes in terms of paper size you can choose to have our page size as a4 let's say we want to have a4 isometric these are the dimensions or rather this is the size of the paper margins and this is going to be the dimensions of that paper so here we have also options for the layout. Make sure you have a, a radio button for landscape selected, then click OK. Under document options, we have settings for print area. Choose entire drawing. Under scale, make sure this is a fit to page because and when we have it, we have it as original. When you look at this preview, you can see we have four pages and the drawing is split between these pages. But when you click on fit to page, now that has been resized to this as the current scale and the drawing is fitting on that page. So we have, we have um, all the other options such as text and markers. We want them to resize to scale. We can be able to indicate or rather we can be able to have settings for header and footer. We can choose to, to display the construction grid or under, under save PDF width. We have options for color, black and white and grayscale. I want to save that as colored. Then when, when that is done, I will click on OK. Then I will choose this option here, save and the file is going to be saved. So after saving, the file has been opened if you can see this is the floor plan that we have been working on that's how to quickly save a views rather drawings from akikad to pdf using the marquee tool 
and that is by the way, by way of saving just the selected area 